Hello, friends. Mr. Elliot here. Ms. Doing Hayes take here. Two with <laughs> take two. Lovely Pamela Hayes. Hey, Mathematician, everyone. math guru, math genius, my mentor, <laughs> right here. Who do I look up to? Right here. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so here we go. Today, we are joining one another to bring Who Lives in the Sea to You. This was written by Sylvia M. James, and Mr. Elliot, what is that page called? Well, because I pay attention. To take one? To take one, <laughs> yes. That is the title page. That is the title page. So, we talked about it. I get to do the even pages. Mr. Elliot does the... Odd pages. How do you know if it's even or odd? Three, five, seven, nine's odd. Two, four, six, eight, ten is even. <laughs> but if you can share it evenly with a friend, mm -hmm. you're an even Steven number. And if one person has more than the other person, you're an odd Todd number. Much smarter than me. So here we go. You gonna show our pictures? This is a picture. Okay. This is a jellyfish. It lives in the sea. This is a starfish. It lives in the sea. This is a fish. It lives in the sea. This is an octopus. It lives in the sea. This is a seal. It lives in the sea. This is a dolphin. It lives in the sea. This is a shark. It lives in the sea. Who else lives in the sea? Well, that's a good question, but typically whatever lives in the sea eventually makes its way into my belly when I go down to Destin or Red Lobster. Or a uh, little sea food. That's right. A little sea food. Okay, so now, a really cool feature about this book is if you look at the back, um, you know, we're like, this is an octopus. But when you look at the back, it gives you like this little reader's code. So it will tell you, oh, actually, it wasn't an octopus on that page. It was, let me get on the correct page. It's an octopus. Yeah, but I was on the wrong page. I was on the jellyfish page. Okay. So, in fact, this says just an octopus. But if you go back to the jellyfish page, it'll tell you the type, the specific type of species it is. So, you know, it's like a purple jellyfish and a fire brick sea star. Somebody's blowing you up. we got a ding, ding, ding going on here. I almost felt like I was one of those old scholastic Sorry. readers there. So, anyway, pretty cool book. Fiction or nonfiction? It's real. These are real animals with real pictures. So, I'm going to say nonfiction. You have it. Photographs and real information. Facts are equal to nonfiction. So, let's talk about some math that we can do. With, which, there we go. With this book we can that we can do. So, a lot of you guys love to go to the setting of the sea, which would be the... You tell me. Help me out there, buddy. I don't know. I don't know the where The setting? You don't know where the setting would where be? Where it takes place. Well, where, where it takes place. We're going to go to the beach. So, when you go to the beach, let's think of some beachy math. So, you can classify. You can categorize. You can count. Um, you can measure the sand that is in your that you use to uh, how many scoops, how many pails that you would use to make your sand castle. Um, you can do a survey and do a contest on wh whose sand castle looks the greatest, the best. Which we can measure animals. I bet so. your sand castle would be great because you would measure it, and I'm just going to dump it and build a moat. Technically, I'm not very good at that. I'm not very patient. I don't like mm -hmm. to pack it down and. Uh, yeah, I'm not I'm very good at that. I'm just I'm more sort of like build it up and knock it down. Knock it down. Mm -hmm. I'm more like lay under the sun umbrella and think about people who are doing that. But anyway, if you go to the beach, and the beaches will be opening soon, um, look for look for uh, little animals that wash up onto the beach. You can do shell collections. Um, help me out here, Mr. Elliot. You're the beach person. I'm a mountain person. Come I'm on. Both. You're both. <laughs> I'm both. I did live in Florida. So, yeah, the, the shells are a, the first way to go. You, you have to be careful not to step on any jellyfish. Sometimes you will see sea turtles, and uh, they'll usually have, like, 
caution tape around them if they're laying their eggs. Uh, that's something to look for as well, especially if you see some hatchings how many sea turtles uh, were hatched from that, that one mommy turtle. Um, you could do uh, the amount of people on the beach for that and compare and contrast, are there more uh, adults or kids, more boys or girls and so forth, and what's the total? All good things to do, all good things to do on the beach. But whatever you do, remember, to be careful at the beach, don't go out very far, don't, because, you know, during the times of day, the toes are different, you could get out there a little farther than you mean to get, um, and we just want to be safe. So, we hope that you enjoyed Who Lives in the Sea today. Um, if you get onto some of these pictures and you forget, look at your picture clues. Always look at your picture clues. Look at your picture clues, look at the beginning letter, and think, does that word make sense? Sometimes they just pop out when you read. So, all the math, all the reading, thank you for letting us read to you today. Bye, friends. Bye-bye.